Bathed in green, white and red, the night before Rome's ancient Colosseum is finally due to reopen after months of lockdown in Italy. And in the morning, people line up to see inside the famous tourist attraction. But things have changed. Masks are mandatory and temperatures are checked. Local visitors, though, are thrilled to be back. Yes, it's emotional because it's a rebirth after a very difficult time for Italy and all the world. Famous tourist sites across Europe are opening up, keen to be back in business after the coronavirus lockdown. Such as this iconic tourist attraction in France's Loire Valley, where social distancing rules are also in place. Book lovers got a taste of freedom too, with Finland's vast and iconic Helsinki Central Library allowing people back in to peruse the shelves. Istanbul's Grand Bazaar in Turkey, with its nearly 600-year history, has closed for months. It opened back up with fanfare for shopkeepers and spice traders to sell their wares again. But they also need the international tourist dollar to come back. We have completed necessary preparations and we are waiting for customers from abroad. Our business is dependent on tourism. And as museums and cultural sites open their doors in the Northern Hemisphere, in the Southern Hemisphere, some return to normality too, as Australia's Taronga Zoo in Sydney welcomes back visitors, and the state's main art gallery allows people to once again walk among its prized acquisitions. There is relief as economies start to whir back to life, but there will be concern too about safety and the threat of a second wave of infections. For now though, these moments are a welcome respite. Reggie Ahmed, BBC News.